That is the best female fighter on the scene right there. I'm really excited about Glenna and Brittany Anik. I mean, you got a striker versus grappler. And Glenna comes from Chael Sonnen up in, in Oregon. And I know if Chael says those type of words that she could be one of the best in the world, I also feel that Brittany Anik can be one of the best in the world. So you know what, if they're this, they're this young in their amateur career, let's see what happens. And let's go out and you know, match the two best that we can get. And, hey, winner, winner take all. And they're both two, two respectful, classy girls. And we're really looking forward to the matchup. Glenna Avila versus Brittany Anik. Uh, two young women vying for the top spot on the food chain in women's MMA. Uh, Glenna Avila, highly regarded uh, youngster. Uh, Chael Sonnen had some, some very, had very high praise for her, uh, calling her the next big thing. Uh, well-rounded, uh, she comes from that camp, that tremendous wrestlers over there. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is gonna be good, her striking is gonna be good. I understand her cardio is uh, always top-notch. Uh, she's, uh, she's gonna have her hands full. Brittany Anik, uh, this young lady is, is uh, she's also uh, number four in the country. Uh, her hands are on blast. Over the years in kickboxing, I've gotten four U.S. titles, a Missouri title, and a World IKF title. Right now, I'm ranked number four in the world for uh, amateurs in my weight class, and I plan on moving up pretty quickly. I'm not the type to sit here and talk trash about my opponent. I think that uh, all the talking will be done in the cage on April 2nd. With Glenna, by watching a little bit of tape that I have seen on her, you know, she is, she is a super tough, aggressive, in-your-face type fighter that makes for a great main event. And you know what, if I was, if I was betting on the show, um, I'd flip a quarter. But I also, at the same time, as being Brittany's coach, I also want to put Brittany in the toughest fight she can so when the pros come, she's ready for them. I would put Brittany's stand up against any girl in the world. And I don't mean the country, and I don't mean uh, one tournament or another tournament or another one organization against another organization. I say the world. Brittany and I, uh, when you look at the rankings, they, they ranked her below me. Uh, I don't really agree with that because our records are identical. We're both 5-0. and I think it's, a, it's anybody's game, and that's what makes it exciting, and that's why I need to train so hard. I think this is going to be probably one of the toughest fights that I've ever had to face, and hopefully I'll be one of the toughest fights that she'll ever have to face. April 2nd, uh, Bad Blood. Uh, Shamrock MMA has put together a masterpiece. Uh, uh, eight fights on this card. Eight of these could be main event fights. Uh, you've got the number three ranked girl in America versus number four. Uh, we've got Knogel versus Walsh. We've got the altar boy. We've got Finney's MMA. We've got Hit Squad. This is going to be a who's who of the Midwest fight scene. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. April 2nd, Shamrock MMA, Bad Blood. April 2nd, MMA returns to the Stratford Inn for Bad Blood. Non-stop mixed martial arts action brought to you by the Midwest MMA leader, Shamrock MMA.